Greece. Memed for bankruptcy. Memed for army incompetence. Memed for being a bitch boy to other major powers in the world. What if we take back what we rightfully deserved after the First World War? What if we get our rightful demands that we made for the First World War? That's right, we're gonna do the democratic path that nobody does for Greece. And surprisingly, it, it, it's, it's really strong. I tested this and I was like, hmm, this is gonna be bad. But surprisingly, it's actually pretty good. Are we gonna do what Greece could never do? Build a big economy to contest the world stage? Are we gonna get a rightful claims from the First World War? Are we gonna join the allies early and actually make a difference in the First World War? Let's do that. And we do that to begin with uh, by uh, putting the king under house arrest. Fixing instability with one stability. You know, it's kind of funny actually because Greece has a decent army, a decent navy, a decent air force, a decent amount of factories too, but that has to do with the, the red. Oh God, red, red. Oh, it's all red. Yeah, everything's going wrong. There's a lot of things to fix. But luckily, we can get the great powers to help us out. Let's begin. And the election's over, and uh, we won, I guess. We're going to form a republic. Uh, kind of. I say kind of because the Republican path is how you form Byzantium. Old history boils. Tell me in the comments how this happened. But anyway, we're going to compromise with the monarchists, and we're going to go down the left path. Now, you think, no, he's just going to do Byzantium. We've seen that a million times. Oh, no, 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 no. You'll see. You'll see. I've just spotted the chief of the army. Greece has a army maneuver genius. I must resist doing the joke of maneuvering away from the front lines. Only forwards, chaps. Only forwards. So we're going to do the, you should really see a therapist route, uh, which just basically means you can't get over your problems and you constantly dwell on them. And uh, you just return to old ideas and uh, struggle to move on. Yeah, that's pretty much the left pass for Greece. Negotiations with the Triple E. I'm going to go with a big fat nah. If you support them, they'll start a coup. So don't do that. And here we go, resurrecting the Mengali idea. So at the end of the First World War, they were gonna carve up the Ottoman Empire. And rightfully, the Greek people were to gain uh, Constantinople and the Western parts of the Aegean Sea. But then not long afterwards, Turkish Revolution happened and they reclaimed all of the continent of Asia, the entirety of Asia from a Roman perspective. Anyway, that land is still ours, okay? We've not given up. We're not getting over it. It's our land. 140 day national focus. And to make sure things go to plan, we're going to boost relations with France and the UK. Now, you can invite Italy to this if you want to as well, but they're going to take a cut of the pie and you kind of want more of the land. So if you don't invite them, you get more land. So Italy, Mussolini, not today. The convention. Would you like to invite the UK and France or UK, France and Italy? Italy, eh. they have arrived. Shake hands. The French want a mandate of Kurdistan. So these events are all about carving up Greece. Yeah, sure, you can have Kurdistan, France. All these events are all about carving up Turkey. Yes, France, you can have Kurdistan. Did I say Greece? The French get a mandate to Kurdistan. Yay. The British want a protectorate of Armenia. The vote says aye. And the votes have it. It's a yes. The Mengali idea. The idea of a greater Greece. Big Greece. We vote yes. If this motion is passed, then upon Turkey's annexation, Greece shall annex Istanbul and the other Turkish states that border the Aegean Sea. If they say no, then, well, it doesn't happen. The Mengali idea is born. We have come out of the convention with everything we could have wanted. But next comes the hard part. Blessed are the warmongers. All right, so we're going to make a fallback line right here. And these boyos are going to be on strike force here, here, and here, just to prevent naval invasions. The convention was a great success. War support is an at all time high. Okay, if you want to get a load of uh, war support and stability, crush the fascists. Takes 120 days. And that's how we get proper democracy, boys, by uh, eliminating the competition. Ah, democracy. I love it. 140 day focus. Wow, I felt like it was forever. And now we can do the not. All signatories will declare war on Turkey. More war support. You can never have enough war support, can you? Okay, we're going to train a bunch of divisions, okay? And we don't need engineers. We'll train an absolute crap ton of them for the sole reason that we'll be baiting Lendleys from France and the UK. Or well, hopefully if they join, they might not join. Boom! We got one. France has already... Uh, France has already given up. France has abandoned 
their commitments. But the UK has honored. Boom, they're at war. First thing we're going to do is go to the birthplace of democracy, which just gives a massive 25% war support. Can't argue with that. That's, that's amazing. Oh, and the UK is offering us an opportunity to join the glorious allies. Oh, Jesus. The glory. What the fuck is happening? The glorious allies. Extensive conscription. Wait for the Turks to move forward. And then we just slip around the front line. Oh, here comes the Lenleys. Flood me with guns. Okay, if you're really skilled about this, you just be able to, like, go around the outside. Boop. And around, and around. Welcome to Encirclement Town. Population, you. And then come back again and do the same thing again. Yeah, this is sad, but it works, so whatever. Here comes the UK boys. Naval invasion time. Because it's the birthplace of democracy. Now, we're at 84% war support. Can't believe we're even at war. We could do total move. Oh, I really want to do that. Uh, okay. All right, same again. Off you go, brothers. And France has joined the fight too because they've ended up joining the Allies because they do that on historical. Another one. At this point, we can just push. Okay, we've got total mode. We're going to lose women in the workforce. So I'm just going to go war economy. We'll have no manpower otherwise. Okay, dealing with Greek problems. That's right. We're going to have to sort out our economy. It's a mess. So I said to you in this game, we're either going to become our own independent thing or we're going to become a bitch boy to the major powers. This is the bitch boy path. We're not going to be doing that. That's right. Forced the farmers into the factories. Forced industrialization. Oosh! Ankara! This is pretty impressive because the Turkish army is pretty big at the very start of the game too. So this is a pretty fat donking of turkey so here we go it's given us all this land automatically and uh, armenia has been given to the uk as part of their mandate because france backed out they don't get anything but they can still use their war contribution to grab stuff what i'm gonna try and do is try and grab an extra bit of coastline yeah that looks pretty good yeah yep Ooh, fight for ankara will france get it or will greece get it boom and i can't afford anything else gg oh i can take the navy though no i can't i tried all right, we're still at war with Romania because they guaranteed Turkey. So, naval invasion time, boys. Pay back our debts. When you get the large debt payments, you can do this so quick. Britain, you're first. Never mind. Naval invasion not required. France has already done it for us. Oh, no. Wow. Romania is an open goal like real life. Okay, here we go. We have won. The Mengali idea has triumphed over the naysayers and those who thrall our destiny. We now stand on the precipice of a new age for Greece. A golden age. Look at these bonuses. Beautiful. Greater Greece. Here we come. And the result? Uh... Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> hell. Beautiful. And the old borders of Turkey? What is this mess? <laughs> We've got a mini Syria. Get this down. And the protectorate of Armenia. British debt. Paid. Now we have a greater Greece. Boom! Helias! So every one of these focus here will reduce your consumer goods by 5%, bleeding away all, slowly eating away at all those negative national spirits. It's a slow progress, but at the end of it, you actually end up better than most nations that don't have these penalties to begin with. You'll see. Okay, this one's pretty cool. The bedrock! So every nation in the Balkans, which also includes Czechoslovakia, as well as Turkey, even Austria, if you've got good relations with them, you'll gain one civilian factory. So Albania, Turkey, Bulgaria. There's another Romania. Do we boost relations with this other Romania? Yeah, Moldova. Yeah, why not? Let's just do them all. All of them. Now we're losing one political power per day. Ow. Okay, let's find out how many civvies we get. Currently got 26 and we gain eight. That's pretty impressive. Maybe balkanizing Romania actually helped me out even more. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's this? A few more decisions. Realize the Mengali idea. The Mengali idea is a supreme dream of all Hellenic people. Greece will be made whole again. So we're going to appoint this prime minister, which gives basically a boost to civilian production. Oh, I actually don't want that. The, the current guy's better. And then we can move the capital to either Constantinople or Thilesikaniki. Ah, we'll go for Constantinople. Boom. All right, we paid off our debts to Italy and Britain. And there's a cheeky thing you can do here. You can renegotiate your debt with France, which unlocks a weird decision that gives you more civilian factories. I think this might be bugged. Let's find out. Oh, look at this economy. It's booming. This is the best timeline for Greece. There you go. We've now paid off all of our debts by renegotiating with France. And unlocks this decision here. Bribe 
French trade unions to harass their government. 100 political power. So as long as France has got a little bit of communist support, you're able to do this and do it a few times. This is weird, you'll see. The French have invested, so we lose more political power. But it gains us three off-map civilian factories. Three! For a little bit of political power. Truly a friendship of France. But get this, you can do it again. <laughs> Explosive Greek economic growth is on the horizon. The French have invested again, losing a 75 political power, but gaining another three civilian factories. Again. <laughs> the French invest again. Oh, thank you, France. More civilian factories. And that is the last and final time. So that's nine civilian factories given us to France off map. <laughs> Look at the economy. Look at this. Well, we've only got 5% consumer goods as well now, which is about to hit zero when we crack down on foreign monopolies. And that's it. 0% consumer goods. Greece, no debt, big economy, reconquered the parts of land that we lost after World War One. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? Celebrate with a little bit of grand battle plan. There we go. Crack down on foreign monopolies. 0% consumer goods. And look at the size of this economy. How many civilian factories we got? We have 60 and then another 18 from events, occupations and French shenanigans, which I think make makes our economy bigger than france and okay maybe a little bit smaller than the uk uh we're running out of building slots oh my goodness i am not even gonna bother pronouncing that and i don't want to see a single comment from you guys like you can't spell I mean, wait, wait, what is this gibberish greek language literally is a face roll okay artillery boys it's time the plan we're aware of the islands here so we'll build up some forts just a defensive measure probably won't have the power to push into here but those italian divisions are locked in so they're not going anywhere next up if the bulgarians join the war we've got a few remaining divisions to hold the line then we do the final stand of constantinople here and that will hold on to our continental holdings in asia then we attempt to push into albania if we're not successful we can fall back to the mountains here and hold a firm line to stop the european greece from falling let's go all right, do it. Oh, no way. We're actually breaking them? Eh, kind of. It's a bit of a slog. Boys! We're making slow gains. It's mounds. It's difficult. But we get to rename this state to, let's pronounce it, Jagorok Caster. That's totally wrong. And I thought the old name was bad, but we made it even worse. This is the, like, the Greek way of bastardizing the world. Conquering land and rename it to impossible to pronounce locations. The second wave. Push! Oh, no, no. No landing for you, Greece. Get back into the sea. Breakthrough. Bulgarians and a German naval invasion. Get out. Get out. Get out. Like this video. Like this video. Like this video. You know what to do. The Bulgarians are coming soon. They've not declared. Stalemate and Bulgaria stars and join the war. Do I have to declare on you, Bulgaria? Oh, never mind. Okay. I'm tempted. We just go here, maybe? And you go here? A cheeky push? Cheeky and Silkerman? Hmm? No? Maybe? No? No? Yes. Yes. That's what we wanted. The might of the economic competence of the Greek armies. The legacy of Sparta. Athena flows through my veins and uh, ripping apart Bulgaria. Okay, well, maybe not that much of a push. Definitely ripping through mainland Bulgaria, though. Oof! Man! The collapse of Bulgaria has made loads of pockets. Freebies. Bulgarians down. Italians down. Hungarians on their last legs. Oh my god. Hungary is just an open goal. Go, go, go. You know, most of the time, it's just because they lose all the divisions of their allies and they can't hold their front lines. And then this happens. Soviet Union going for the full encirclement, even taking Denmark as well. Ah. <sighs> Greece. I don't know why Macedonia is independent, but I'll take it. The AI never takes the navy, and I could take Vichy France's navy. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Germany couldn't take it, but I get to take it in a peace deal. I'll take Italians and the Germans too. <laughs> He's so dumb. Look at the size of that navy. Oh man, that's huge. And it's pretty beaten up. It makes sense. They lost the war. Did we make it? Are we a world power on the world stage now? 132 civilian factories and 50 mills. Where does that put us? We're bigger than France. We're bigger than the UK. Bigger than Japan. Soviet Union? Uh, no. United States? Mm, definitely not. But we came close. If this isn't an impressive Greece, you're impossible to impress. There you go. Your challenge is get to 1944 as Greece and have more civilian factories than me. That's your challenge. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. You've watched it. You can't unwatch it. And keep watching it. This is the next video. Give this one a click. This one.